Hello, and thanks for joining me. I'd like to tell you a bit more about the TSLS rip fence system. The rip fence system is basically all of the gold aluminum that's bolted right up to the saw. And certainly we have a couple of very nice router extension tables as accessories to help you make better use of the space that you have in your shop. Uh, it's worth mentioning, though, it's not necessary to have any kind of side tables mounted outboard of the main saw because the rail system is self-supporting. Typical installation, uh, you keep the two cast iron wings that come on the saw right where they're at. The rails get mounted only to the central casting on the saw. Two points at the front, two points at the rear of the saw. These brackets are adjustable side to side and up and down, so it doesn't really matter where the holes are on the saw. The idea behind using a, a large anchor positioner as a table saw fence is very simple. Uh, every woodworker agrees that the more precisely that you cut the parts now, the better they fit together in the end. It's no more complicated than garbage in, garbage out. It, rather than you measuring that distance by eye or using the scale and the cursor that's on the front rail of your saw now, uh, an LS positioner is mechanical. It's got a scale and a cursor in a different location, but what happens, every time that you lock it, it does the smallest amount of fine-tuning to the fence position on top of what you've done by eye. And it allows you to set that fence-to-blade distance 10 to 20 times more consistently and precisely than you can by working by eyesight alone. The best way to illustrate that is with a uh, series of cuts, and I'm going to make a total of 17 cuts for you during the demonstration. The uh, first three of those cuts, honestly, are not terribly exciting. Uh, there again, the reason that you bought a saw in the first place is not terribly exciting either. At the start of a project, you need to cut the boards the right width. You might need a few parts perfect at 10 inches wide. You might have to have a few more that are right on the money at six inches in width, and maybe the smallest parts have to be dead on at four inches wide. One of the first things that people discover about the Incra systems is that they're very efficient to use. Because they align perfectly against the blade every time that you lock them, you measure once and cut instead of measuring the front of the blade, the back of the blade, and everywhere else before a really important cut. And that efficiency is good, but when it's time to start gluing things together, what really matters is how close to each of those three dimensions you actually got. And we don't have to measure these uh, separately. Uh, we know for a fact that four inches and six inches always adds up to 10, but only if each of those three parts is perfect on its own. Uh, take all three of those, stack them edge for edge, right at the top two boards, the seam right between those boards is the total combined error across all three of those cuts. And it's a seam so fine, it's not even possible to find it with your fingertip. To put that into woodworking terms, hitting three cuts in a row, each one plus or minus a thousandth of an inch, is enough accuracy to take the line from a sharp pencil and split it into two dozen equal parts. Uh, the mechanics that make that uh, accuracy possible are very simple. Uh, in fact, an Alice positioner has three moving parts. It has one more moving part than a conventional rip fence does. Right up here on the front of the carriage, there's a three and a half foot long steel lead screw. And that screw is rolled out with 32 threads per inch to match the fractions we plan our projects in. There's a high pressure clamp here that drives a matching set of those steel threads so that every time that you lock it down, those threads mesh and it causes the fence to instantly center up on only the closest perfect 30 second of an inch and it won't let you miss by more than two thousandths of an inch. In other words, instead of you tapping the fence and trying to line up the lines by eye, when you lock an anchor positioner, it will line up the line on the cursor and the scale for you automatically. That's where the accuracy comes from, and that's what also makes it completely repeatable, even if you need to duplicate parts two weeks, two months down the road. That's exactly what I'd like to demonstrate for you next. 